Well, it seems very exciting, uh, Shekhar. I think uh, especially all the first, I have to congratulate all the young talent that actually uh, platform their talent for the very first time. Like you said, that most of them haven't been on a stage before. So congratulations to all of them. Young, vibrant energy is always welcome in any entertainment industry. Uh, I, I was very intrigued by uh, the AV you showed us about you know the modalities of how to work this entire talent online concept that you're introducing, which is the very first, I think, in our entertainment industry. And I think it's going to open various doors to so much talent that would otherwise go unnoticed. And I think it's, since it's a click away, it gives you that one-on-one -on -one contact with that talent. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I think it's, it was lovely to see the, the talent that performed today. It was very fresh. It was uh, very energetic. And the AV that I saw, I think this is an outstanding uh, model that you have created. And it's going to solve a lot many problems that one always thought existed and didn't know how to solve them. And I think it's all there, not only for, for someone who's talented and looking for work, but also for someone who's trying to source the right yeah. talent for his or her uh, job. Uh, I think, Karan, if you remember our acting years. Indradosh. <laughs> Indradosh, right? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Somebody told me about that recently. <laughs> I've actually, I, a lesser known fact that I think <laughs> Ashutosh and I were in the same scene together, uh, which I'm really vast embarrassed about. I don't know about him. Uh, but, but then subsequently, I think we're just better off as filmmakers, especially with my disastrous debut recently. <laughs> yeah. I think I shouldn't talk about my acting at all. <laughs> So one went to so many offices. Uh, this is a series called Indra Dhanush, Mr. Anand Mahindra. Yeah. So one has went to a lot of offices and looking for work and all of that. And I wish when I was acting, your portal was existing yeah. then. It would have been a great help. Yeah. Blood, sir, I know you've got 40 years of experience of seeing this from where people would actually take it to their offices in you know, folio to even today. True. Um, you know, we used to get... Lots of young people coming to office with photographs. Right. Uh, some touched, some not touched. Yeah. And um, uh, some we couldn't understand why. You know, and we had drawers full of them. And uh, I remember all our trainees were given this job of sorting out all the rejects for our original casting. Because we were among the few people who actually broke that barrier that all models in advertising have to be good looking. Yeah. No, the, and, and, yeah. and, and that's a great point, sir. And, yeah, and, because today what has happened is that advertising is looking for real people, not just good looking people. Yes. Because what happens when you have only good looking people, it takes you three days to shoot a commercial so, with about 500 takes. So I'll ask you to hold that thought because I'm going to pick on that in a second in terms yes. of real characters. And I want to come to uh, Salim, who, you know, one of, the, one of the reasons why we built this was to build. Uh, the industry's first end-to-end -end technology platform, right, that allowed you to manage your talent pipeline from profiling to online auditions to selection to final auditions to casting. And I know you've traveled the world in the music space, in particular looking at so many different types of talents. I wanted you to take that perspective and put it to what you saw. Uh, I think it's phenomenal. The most important thing I feel is in this is, uh, you know, there's so much talent which is outside Mumbai. A lot of people just come to Mumbai thinking, yeah, this is the place we're going to get a chance to sing. This is the place where we're going to get a chance to uh, score a, f you know, a film. Or so, but you don't need to come to Mumbai with this, with this kind of a portal. You can be in Ghaziabad, you can be in Bengal, you can be anywhere and you know, showcase what you have. For, as a matter of fact, um, you know, when, sometimes when I go outside India, I see so much, there's, there's so much of music out there, especially Indians, Pakistanis who I mean, they, they're great musicians, they're great singers, but there's absolutely no industry there for them. You know, they want to come to Bollywood, that's their dream. They want to do something in the Indian music industry, right. in Indian film industry, but how? Yeah. How would yeah. they connect with, you know? Yeah. And, yeah. and imagine these people, they have day jobs and stuff like that, but they're fantastic singers, they're great, they're, they're great artists, some, are, some of them are great musicians, they play, you know, instruments like sitar, and they, they don't speak a word of Hindi. <laughs> but when it comes to singing, they can sing beautifully, whether it's a tumri, whether it's a rag based thing, whether it's anything. Right. And they want to, I mean, they, that's their dream. They want to just kind of sing one film song or they want to be recognized. They want to come to Mumbai to, you know, 
to maybe just sing a little bit in the in the advertising industry or something like that. Yeah. So it's uh, for them a portal like this is really phenomenal. They don't really need to come to Mumbai. Yeah. All they need to do is just you know do this uh, uh, video or audio clip or whatever, and and that's it. If they have something, I mean, there's so much going on on Facebook, but then Facebook also has a lot of other garbage which you don't want to you know read right. and go through. Right. So if this is talent centric and if they, there's a portal which is dedicated yeah. like TN, it's, it really solves a lot of problems and a lot of, uh, uh, it really gets them, yeah. you know, what they, what they need, what so they desire. So you hit on uh, two of the buzzwords or, or key things that we believe in, which I'm going to kind of turn to Mr. Nair to talk about a little bit is the purpose of the platform uh, from, a, from a talent discovery perspective is to make it more efficient and effective. Right? And sir, you go through hundreds of shows a week in terms of pilots and demonstrations. And I want you to talk a little bit about how we can use a platform like this to drive that. Well, actually, before that, Shikhar, yeah. I mean, you know, I, the AV was really nice and it's <laughs> a brilliant you. idea. I'm surprised no one has done it yet to this scale. Thank I mean, you, you know, we've, we've had ideas like this before in the past, but it's never really come together. I think modern technology allows <clears> that to happen. And it's really nice and detailed, so I must applaud you on that. Thank you. Um, obviously, this is a great opportunity because, you know, it destroys all those geographical boundaries and barriers and allows anyone to sort of come up on it. And for companies like ours, um, it really, you know, throws it open of all kinds of talent. Uh, there are hundreds of shows, hundreds of, you know, movies, different kinds of content, now even online being created. And it allows all sorts of people to reach us. It allows us to reach them, and it allows us to sort of, you know, see auditions, see stuff online, real time. Um, so it's, yeah, I mean, it's a brilliant idea. I'm just curious to know how much you plan to charge for it. Uh, <laughs> we won't talk about that today. Uh, but let me let me now, you know, turn over to uh, Samir and Culture Machine. I, I, you guys are the epitome of kind of the digital age coming up in India, where you're focused so much on the manilials as well as raw talent, right? What does a platform like this do for you? I think the challenge for us is that uh, there's a lot of noise because all our brands are predominantly on digital. So for us, so we look at YouTube, Facebook, so Twitter, Starter Sky, and Dish TV, and we want to build media brands on top of them. And because of the fact that it's as simple to get in touch with our brands by just clicking on message, we get a whole bunch of people sending in auditions and show reels. There's a lot of noise, and if they, everybody wants to be cast in the next every Bombay girl in the world or every Delhi girl in the world. And uh, what we tend to do now is that we just actually have to go through all of that and that takes a lot of effort because that's a lot of people from across India sending a variety of content towards us and this actually I think is a good way to you know filter out uh, the signal from the noise. Yeah, no, that's that's definitely sure. I'm going to ask a couple of pointed question here. Um, so, Asha sir, uh, you've, you've, you've made such great large films where principal characters and cult characters have come alive like Kachra and Goli. Um, how, how would you think about using this platform to find those kind of characters? Uh, you mean by sheer casting? By sheer casting, yeah. No, earlier what I did, earlier as in right up to my re uh, recent film, is um, I would go on the various uh, channels on television and look at the regional programming that is existing. And from the regional programming, you're able to see uh, so many actors who, for some reason or the other, have not been able to make it to Mumbai. I'm trying, I'm trying. Uh, probably financially they've not been, been able to come, or some others feel that you know, there's no point in going to Mumbai. And I've most of the times gone in there and got my talent from there. But that's a very time-consuming process. It's been, uh, I mean, they've all been always uh, very pleasantly surprised to know that you know, they've been contacted in this <coughs> manner. So, a platform like yours, what it helps us do is, it's a click away now. I'm now hoping it'll be a click away because the way you've uh, uh, created it, I was uh, quite surprised the, the detailing that you have done. And I look forward to now, even for casting directors, the access for them becomes much, much easier. Because otherwise, Mumbai becomes the hub. You always are making available actors that are here in the vicinity. The moment you think of an actor who's from uh, Maliahabad, you're like, you know, uh, uh, who's going to now try and reach out to that person, get him here, and audition, what if you don't like the person? All those kind of questions arise. So I think this, this is, this is going to be great. What Ashutosh is talking about is actually very true. Because we cast Smita Patil from a Marathi news channel. That was the first time Sham actually saw her, we all saw her, and said, wow, she's, there's, there's a charisma about her, there's, a, there's an aura. And though she's just a news reader, it, she projected herself brilliantly. 
and that, the rest was history because the first film that she ever did was charanda ashor and uh, which was a which was a little village film which was on a play you know in chatisgarh for that matter and after that of course she became what she became but she was cast from a marathi news channel which used which some of our light boys and peons used to watch on a regular basis and they were the ones who told her look at this girl she's absolutely smashing and that's how she was cast i mean uh, basically what ashutosh talk about is true but what your thing is going to do is uh, going to open up a whole lot of possibilities now you look at the verticals that exist today in terms of possibilities the film industry at its best is still a mom and pop shop okay so its casting is done through people who are useless relatives okay and so somebody's bhai bhatija useless chap some drug addict some guy who's come back from rehab acha usko dal do because they believe they actually believe that you do not really need real talent for male actors to succeed okay the women are all from outside and the reason why the women are from outside is because nobody wants still there's a stigma about putting your daughter into the movie industry so they don't mind somebody else's daughter being in the movie industry but you don't want to put your own daughter into the movie industry now this is the hard truth i mean what i'm saying is existing for the last 50 years or 100 years and there's residues of it coming through even now there are lots of young producers and directors who are willing to experiment but the hardcore industry actually doesn't want to you know to cast new people they want somebody who is established somebody who is already uh, there somebody who is going to be the ticket to ride and who is going to give them an initial which is what they call it okay but there's so many verticals now opening up there's netflix there's entertainment on the phone there's uh, uh, the serials there's a whole lot of people who are now not just going to watch movies to ye aapka jo casting ka comment hai i i actually want to ask uh, this is going to open up the whole pandora's box uh, well I, i hope it's not pandora's box i hope yeah. it's a box of flowers <laughs> well, and roses well part of it will be pandora's yeah, box well part no, of no, it no, will not the, you know what the hell 